Hi, it's Dwyer, GamblersAdvisory.com, DwyerVIP.com, both free sites. It's April the 14th, 2018, with some quick picks here on the Carl Frampton versus Nanito Denier fight and on the uh, Magdaleno versus Dogbo fight. But first remember, the opinion you should follow should be your own. Just consider this video to be a second opinion from a complete stranger online. I'm expecting Carl Frampton to beat Nanito Denier. Uh, fight is in Frampton's backyard. Uh, both of these guys are very technical. I do believe, though, that if you are leaning toward Frampton, you need to hedge the play with Denier by KO. Understand, Denier's left hook is a A punch, right? I give it an A rating. Also understand that Power is the last to go. These guys are going to spend a lot of time just looking at each other. But make no mistake, if Denier, who is a vet, who understands how to find openings, if Denier is able to land that left hook to Frampton's temple, Frampton, who has a great chin, is not going to be able to withstand that punch. In other words, I feel Denier hits harder, much harder, than people like Leo Santa Cruz. I do feel, though, that Denier is older. He's not the same fighter he was when he was fighter of the year. I believe Frampton's Achilles, in fact, the Achilles of both men, is dealing with higher volume fighters, right? In Frampton's case, Leo Santa Cruz. In uh, Denier's case, look at the Jesse Magdaleno uh, tape. You're going to see Denier just couldn't handle the volume. So these guys have picked each other because I believe both know they're lower volume. I believe Denier was even lower volume than Carl Frampton. I'm expecting Frampton to be surgical. I'm expecting Frampton to land the bigger punches to be able to at least win a decision here. Unless Frampton lingers around the pocket too much and gets hit with that Danito Denier left hook. In sum, I like Carl Frampton in this one hedged with Denier by stoppage. Right? In the other fight, Jesse Magdaleno, a southpaw who has exactly one of the styles, I believe, that would be effective against Gennady Golovkin if they were in the same weight class and they're not close to the same weight class. In other words, slick southpaw who can move around the ring, who can hit you with a jab, who, like Golovkin throws some punches at weird angles. Magdaleno's right hand, he throws in a chopping motion. It's a bit interesting, right? And who have the boxing acumen and the athleticism to stay out of trouble. In other words, be aware of the power shots and move around the ring. Force Golovkin to move his feet. I believe that style, the Demetrius Andre, Jesse Magdaleno style, would give Golovkin a hard time, right? I believe here it beats Dogbo, who is an unbeaten fighter, who has a pretty good left hook himself, right? But I believe Dogbo is going to find that he doesn't have the angles in his favor. In other words, Magdaleno is one of the best athletes in boxing, right? An unbeaten champion. He's going to outmaneuver. He's the better athlete than Dogbo. Right? I believe Magdaleno is going to be able to move around the ring just out volume Dogbo, who might not be ready for the world stage. Understand, Dogbo has fought a lot of guys in Ghana. This is really his first trip out into the world against a guy of Magdaleno's caliber. Let me close by saying, keep an eye on Magdaleno. Right? The world doesn't seem to realize that this guy is one of the best athletes in the sport. Quite frankly, I would take Magdaleno over Carl Frampton. Understand, Magdaleno has already beaten Nanito Denier. Right? Don't confuse a guy's lack of publicity, right? Lack of popularity with the guy's actual talent. I believe Magdaleno is going to burst into the greater consciousness of fight fans everywhere shortly. I believe he's the play over Dogbo. So to sum up, 
The hedge I like in the Frampton fight is Frampton to win. Hedged with Denier by KO. I don't see Denier beating Frampton by decision. Denier is a very different fighter than Leo Santa Cruz. He doesn't have the volume to trouble Carl Frampton, right? I am going to hedge the play, though, with Denier by KO. If you want to see Denier's left hook in action, just pull up the film of Denier against Vic Darchinian. That was back when Darchinian was a beast, right? The world changes after Denier lands that left hook, right? Just food for thought. In the Magdaleno fight, I like Magdaleno. Understand, though, I'm very high on Magdaleno. I believe Magdaleno is underrated and beats a lot of the guys we think of more highly. That's how I see it. Let me hear from you. If you have any thoughts on these fights and you want to share them with the public, I hope you do so in the comment section to this video. Thanks for stopping by.